Good morning one and all. Welcome to the video. In this video, we are going to install Kubernetes on Windows. So let's get started. So by the way, uh, just an FYI, a lot of people have errors while installing Kubernetes because uh, you have to deal with hypervisor and stuff like that. So just to let you know, let me give you one example. So a lot of people are running into issues regarding hypervisor. They are not able to start stuff. So please follow what I'm, I'm trying to do. Okay. So you should be good to go with Kubernetes. I have everything installed. Okay. So I'm going to show you the steps that I followed. Okay. So first of all, step one, install Kubernetes CTL. Choco install K-U-B-E-R-N-E-T-E-S hyphen C-L-I. So put it on the command prompt and run it in the power. So basically run it in a PowerShell and make sure you're running the PowerShell in an administrative mode. So this won't run if you haven't installed Choco. So if you want to install Choco, go to Google, do, 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 do. install, oops. Basically Choco is a uh, package manager, chocolatey on, all right. Install Chocolatey. So uh, install it. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Just follow the instruction on this, right? Chocolatey or Choco. It's a power package manager. You can just follow the commands, right? Once you do that, uh, install this first command. Then install Minikube CTL. So you gotta install Choco. Install Minikube, right? Step three, we gotta, we gotta create a hypervisor. Now this is where it becomes a little trickier. So if you, okay, here are the steps. If you get error, these are the possible solutions, okay? So first I'm gonna show you what you have to do exactly. So go to hypervisor on your windows, H-Y-P-E-R, hypervisor manager. So this is what it should open up, right? So once you open up, create on a virtual switch manager, okay? Once you are on a create virtual switch manager, click on internal, create a new virtual switch, click on type mini cube and click on okay. Once you click on okay, the it will be created. Now what you have to do is basically you have to do some settings. Go to control panel, go to networks, go to view, go to your internet access ethernet. Make sure your LAN is plugged in, otherwise you will have issues, right? Make sure to go to properties, make sure to go to sharing, allow other networks to user to connect through this computer internet connection and make sure you select the mini queue. Restart your computer. Okay, restart your computer. Once you have restarted guys, what you have to do is basically run the command. Uh, so first of all, we will check whether um, everything is installed. Uh, version, where was that? Uh, okay, so if you have installed everything, check kubectl version. Oh, I forgot the T, won't run. Client. Um, as I said, it's, it's it's a little tricky. You might you will definitely encounter errors, and when you go to Stack Overflow or GitHub, some people recommended that you would create a virtual switch using an external. But I tried that, and it did not work for me. Okay, I tried to do all of that, and it did not work for me. So here you can see I'm using this version uh, for um, uh, kubectl. And another thing I wanted to show you. Kubectl, no, that's fine. So once you do that, uh, one, um, so once you have the version, so you would say mini cube start Kubernetes version. And here you have to change the version, whatever version you of Kubernetes you're using, make sure to change it here. If you don't do that, you will get errors, okay? So please do change in the quotes that the version, okay? Then VM driver, Hyper-V, Hyper-V, then tag tag Hyper-V hyper virtual switch is equal to mini cube the mini cube that we created in while creating a virtual switch we typed m i n i k u b e m was capital so same thing you have to enter it here and when you enter it it's going to start your it's going to take like 20 minutes it'll build an iso and basically start everything once you're done with that you can run the command kubectl get node and if you see no resources uh, congratulations um, kubernetes has been installed successfully on your computer so it's going to be slow let me tell you already that one more note, side note, if you again run into error like memory issues and stuff, I had Docker desktop running. If both the things are running simultaneously, um, it was giving me memory issues. So what I did is basically I closed the doc Docker desktop and then I was doing the installation. So try it out. Um, as I said, uh, you might, you'll definitely get uh, run into bugs and stuff. So here you can see when I say get nodes, here you can see Minikube, ready, master. Uh, so everything is up and running, my Kubernetes is up. So what I'm gonna do is basically, I'm gonna leave the steps here. Hold on. So what I'll do is basically, I'll leave the steps in the uh, YouTube comments. 
step one step two then create a hypervisor for follow the st steps that i showed you for creating a hypervisor then you gotta check the cube ctl version right then basically you would start it so let me add a note here make sure to edit the version and the name of virtual switch you use so i've written in capital so you uh, make sure to do that then basically uh, this would be at the end so we'll do the hello world later on but these are the steps you should follow in order to install kubernetes so hope you have enjoyed this uh, part one of installing kubernetes on windows uh, if you have any questions if you are running into errors so as i said a lot of people are running into memory issues and stuff i i had to go over a lot of posts and then that's how i figured out by myself unable to start vm start exit status one so i read all the posts now i'm telling you the solution so hope you would um, uh, be able to install kubernetes successfully if you have any questions or doubts or suggestions please let me know by doing that in the comment section below as usual thank you for watching keep learning keep smiling and we would see you guys in the next video